Unfortunately, the Minnesota Fighting Vikings couldn't get any help from the Greasy Grammy Green Bay Packers. Shocker. Uh, on Sunday Night Football, where, I mean, well, if they started Jordan Love the entire game, maybe they beat the Eagles. Sort of is what it is. But uh, looking at the NFC, Vikings are still firmly in the two spot uh, with a two-game lead over the San Francisco 49ers, who overtook the Seahawks for the NFC West uh, division lead. Uh, but they're still trailing the Philadelphia Eagles at 10-1. and And, of course, yes, the Vikings do not have the head-to-head against the Eagles, and they don't have the head-to-head against the Cowboys. Uh, just in case Dallas does catch Philly, 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 Philly uh, later on in the year. Uh, So they have to be a full game and clear of Philly or the Cowboys or whoever. But either way, the Vikings are taking care of their business. They're starting to get things done and feeling pretty good, man. So if the season ended today, today, the Vikings will be hosting the red hot uh, Washington Commanders and Taylor Heineke. Welcome on in at Revenge Game. And Heineke and the Commies have won five of the last six games. So Heineke's playing well, but ask them what their one loss was. Ah! Got them. And then you have the Giants uh, playing at the Niners. And then you got the Cowboys playing at Tampa Bay uh, and the Buccaneers. Uh, Even though I I feel like the team to avoid, obviously besides the Vikings, uh, besides the Niners, uh, I I think that I think that Tampa would be the team that you would want uh, to go on the road if you're a wild card, uh, just because there's been a log jam atop the NFC East. And also, you know, it's crazy. All four NFC East teams making the playoffs. I mean, a couple years ago, this is the worst division in football. To a degree, right? So the fact that all four teams are stepping up is pretty amazing, man. Uh, but the Cowboys at, at the Buccaneers, I mean, obviously Dallas is America's team, and they're a good story this year. But, I mean, if this is Tom Brady's last year, which, again, it probably isn't, but do, do you think that the league would want Tom Brady as a one-and-done? I don't know. I, I, I don't know, man. But I, I like the Vikings' chances. So say that the Vikings win, everything else goes to chalk, and then the Vikings would indeed be hosting San Francisco in the divisional round, and then Tampa Bay would go uh, to Philadelphia or Dallas. Either way, that's a good game. That's Dallas. But, of course, that's getting ahead of ourselves. AFC just for schnitz and giggles. Uh, oh, wait, this doesn't factor in Monday Night Football, the Colts and the Steelers. Ah, well. Uh, Chiefs would have the one seed. Uh, the Jets, the New York Fighting Jets, uh, at the Dolphins in an AFC East matchup. They got the Bengals at the Tennessee Titans, a rematch of Sunday's game, which is kind of funny. And then you got the Bills uh, playing at the Ravens, which, I mean, that'd be a good game. I mean, all these look good. Yeah, it, it's all good, man. And then looking at 538. So the Vikings have an over 99% chance to make the playoffs. What could go wrong? Over 99% chance to win the division. They can clinch on Sunday uh, if they win or uh, and Detroit loses or ties, or the Vikings tie and Detroit loses, something like that. Uh, they have a 16% chance of catching uh, e- either the Eagles or the Cowboys for the one seed in the NFC. Niners actually have a 2%, and the Vikings have a 6% chance of winning the Super Bowl uh, per 538, who is never wrong about anything. But the Vikings can only control what they can control. Uh, now, we, we've already outlined that I, I do think that given the next four-game stretch, uh, for the Eagles, where they have three tough road games uh, as well. Well, maybe not tough with Trevor Simeon. I don't know. Uh, and also, they're hosting the Tennessee Titans this week, so they could slip up a time or two in these next four games. But the Vikings can only control what they can control. Uh, next four games, you got the Jets at home, uh, Lions, short trip, Colts at home, Giants at home, Christmas Eve. I mean, the Vikings have a chance, uh, a legitimate chance to be 13 and 2 heading into Christmas. So, I mean, we'll take it at this point. So, even though, yeah, it's frustrating that the Eagles can't be caught slipping. I mean, the Vikings just take care of business and whatever happens, happens. If they end up 15-2 and two and still have the two seed, don't care. I mean, it's going to work out perfectly fine. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Vikings, currently the two seed in the NFC. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.